Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about what I'm taking with me to Miami for my BBL. So, I'm going to start off with my ad board. This is what I got. This was $17 on Amazon.com. This is the information on it. Sorry, everything is going to be kind of like backwards, but this is it. Also, I'm going to be taking my Arnica tablets with me with my Arnica gel. I got both of these off of Amazon as well. I got these together. It was like a, a get one, buy one, something like that. It was $13 and some change. So, that's the gel. This is the Arnica. And it helps with bruising and swelling. There's so many good things about these two products as well. I'm still currently looking for the Arnica tea. I cannot find it. I have not found it yet. So, hopefully I find it before I leave. I saw off Amazon, I got a Vimeo Urinal. This was like $8. Looks like that. Because you won't be able to use the bathroom. Or you won't be able to sit down and use the bathroom. So you have to use one of these. This right here. My, instead of getting a smaller Bobby pillow, I just got one of these. That is the, let me see if it will focus. No, it won't. But it's a high roller. It is 6 by 12. They have bigger ones, they have like longer ones, and they also have one that's round. But I choose to get this one instead. You just take it and you put it under your thighs to take the weight off your butt like like that it's really comfortable and it's really sturdy it's really sturdy I don't want to break it but see it's like not going anywhere not bending at all so this is only like $7 it was under $8 for sure and so when it comes to foams I, instead of paying $25 for some phones, I got these. It comes with two in, two in a pack. These are the smallest ones they had. So, and they were $3.99. Also, your phones have to be 8 by 11, so I'm going to cut them. I'm going to measure them, and I'm just going to cut, you know, exactly how, whatever size they're supposed to be, which is 8 by 11 for sure. Usually, if you go on the website, um, Hobby Lobby usually have like a 10%, 40% discount code. Make sure you use that before you go to the register, and it will give you a discount on these. Also, I'll be bringing a laundry bag. I got this one from Walmart for about two dollars, two three dollars. It's just a regular laundry bag. So whether you wash your clothes or you don't wash your clothes, you don't have to have your clothes all over the place. So a laundry bag is good. Just grab one of these, and, you know. I got these from Walmart for three dollars. I'm going to put my I'm going to put my face wash in this one because my face wash is pretty big. I can't bring it. So I'm going to put my face wash in this one. Alcohol in this one. Peroxide and witch hazel. Make sure you label them so you won't forget which one you put in what. Also, this is just a brand I'm going to be bringing. Something I already had at home. Alcohol. I don't have my peroxide right here with me, so, yeah. Pause. I 
I've heard a lot of girls get sick after surgery, so I'm just going to be bringing these. This, these are really good, by the way. These right here. Moderna is a really good scar gel. And the Asporin. Yeah. This one's for itching, pain, and scar ointment. I'm going to be using like both of them. Like uh, this one, one scar gets on another scar. So I don't know which one actually works. Also, I was told that some people do get rashes around their incisions. So I have this right here. Put it on 10, which I know for sure works because it's every little, I have very sensitive skin. Every time I get a rash, I use this and it goes away in like two to three days. So. This right here is like four dollars at Walmart. I got this one for, for this one from Walmart for fourteen dollars, and I have this one for um, seven dollars at uh, Walmart as well. Also, don't mind my nails. I'm trying to take them off because when you get surgery, you cannot have any. Acrylic on your nails, no fingernail polish on your nails, so you have to go looking like that. This is plain Jane. <laughs> okay. I also have Q-tips and cotton balls. I'm only going. I'm not obviously. I'm not going to bring this big thing. I'm just going to take some out and put them in a Ziploc bag. And I'm not going to take all these either. So these are to use to clean off my incisions. I got this from the 99 cent store. It's a back scratcher. Another pack of these because I'm gonna put like my face wash and other things in there. I'm also gonna put my mouthwash in one of these because it's this it's too big. It's too big to take with me and I don't have a travel size one. So I'm just gonna put it in one of these as well. I have four elastic bands. Because I have, I'm getting my thighs done as well. So I have this to put compression on my thighs. I also have this one right here. This one is a cold wrap. I have four of these as well. I, I'm thinking about getting more. I'm not really sure. But the cool helps with the swelling. This was a dollar at the 99 cent store. Walmart has these as well, but they're like $34. But... You know, comes with pins and everything. Have to use this soap the night of surgery and the morning of surgery. This is all you can use. You cannot use any Victoria's Secret soap, any scented soap. This is what you have to use. This is what they're going to tell you to use. Also, I have this right here. This right here is almost like a massager. This right here is like a very soft bristle. So I got this from, from Walmart for uh, $6, I believe. I believe it was like $6. I'm going to be using this so I can help, you know, wash my back and everything like that without having to bend over. So using one of these is really good. I have gauze pads. I got this is for my incisions as well to dress them after I clean them. These were a dollar. I am bringing tampons, so just in case that time of the month comes while I'm still in my healing process, I'm just going to bring some of these just in case you can never be too careful. So be prepared. Or if you use pets or if you use, just make sure you bring some. I have two different types of band aids. I have one with antibacterial on it and just some little smaller ones both a dollar I have gloves I have three packs of gloves they will come with 10 each in there latex gloves so when my mom help clean off my wounds she can wear gloves I have four packs of these they come with 15 each to wipe off everything Wipe your hands off. 
I also have some hand sanitizer, like a small thing of hand sanitizer. I don't have that with me, but I do have some. I don't have any baby wipes, but I do have these flushable wipes. Yeah, these these were like two dollars at Walmart. I have some medical tape. I have to actually get some more because this is not enough. This won't be enough, so I have to get more medical tape. This was a dollar. These adult underpads. They're extra large. It comes with two. These were at the 99 cent store for a dollar. A lot of people use uh, doggy pads. You can get them at um, Walmart, Dollar Tree, whatever you choose. But I prefer these because they're bigger, they're extra large, and I feel like they will work better than regular doggy pads. But if you don't have the 99 cent store, doggy pads work just fine. Also, I'm going to be bringing an enema. These, I have two large ones. I got these from Walmart for about $3. If you don't know what enema is, it cleans out your bowels. Because I was told that a lot of girls do not have a proper bowel movement um, until like a week or so after surgery. But if you use these, if you can stand it, because I don't I really know, you may be very uncomfortable, don't want to use it, but if you can't stand it, this is this works this will clean you out within five minutes and you will have a bowel movement so this right here works i'm gonna bring like four of them but this is it i'm bringing a hat so just in case i don't feel like doing my hair i can bring a hat my Yes, Marine hat. I support my Marine, my military, 100%. My husband's in the Marines, so I'm going to bring two hats just because I don't feel like doing my hair. I'm just throwing a hat and call it a day. I have my Adidas compression socks. You have to have compression socks. Also, if you go with my version, they give you compression socks, but you still want to bring, you know, two or three extra pair of socks because you don't want to go around walking around with the same pair of socks. So, compression socks. My dog is laying on my stuff. Get up. And you should bring a bathrobe. I have this one right here. This is some. This is my favorite robe of so many memories. I have this robe. It's like so pretty, but it's time to let it go. Just a regular robe, nothing fancy. Extra socks, and I also am bringing a lot of underwear, and I'm gonna be bringing my Nike slides because I would advise you to bring some type of sandals that don't have any buckles or anything like that or bring some slides because when you get your body done, you're not going to want to put tennis shoes on and tie them up or zip them up or anything like that. You're, you're just not going to be in the mood for that. So that's what you should just bring, some regular slides. So I have me... A body pillow slash body pillow right here. I will not be bringing this with me because it's too big and I don't want to have to carry it, including carrying my suitcase. So I'm going to bring this as well. It's big. You see how? See, it's bigger than me. <laughs> it's really big. So my husband just going to bring this with me. Well, with him to come pick me up from the airport. I do not have my faha. I will be giving my faha when I get to Miami because I've heard a lot of girls been giving the wrong sizes, fahas, and fahas, as you know, it's not cheap at all. So I'd rather do it right the first time and get my faha there so they can size me up than picking the wrong faha. So I will be giving that. Well, that's the last thing of everything. Okay, well, that's everything I will be bringing. 